Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Easy Mini Painting with me, Christopher Ridge, and we are moving on to more Mansions of Madness, second edition. We're going to be moving on to the riots here, and I want to do a couple things with this video. Number one, I want to get it done super duper fast. Uh, these are miniatures that you can get painted in no time at all, and I figured that in order to do that, we can just emulate their actual uh, artwork on the monster tile that comes with the board game. So you just want that sort of like soft purple color, kind of dark gray, black, glowing red eyes. That's it. So really not a lot going on here. There are some details that you could do that, I, that I'll address at the end of the video, but let's try to keep this video super duper short. That's kind of what I'm going for right here. I want something super duper simple, even simpler than what we normally do, and short. So let's move on. I'm going to start with a layer of orc blood, just because I feel like that's the sort of purple that is uh, semi-reminiscent of the color scheme here. Just whatever shade of like purple or just general shade that you want. Then I'm going to get right into some necromancer cloak, or just like a really dark gray color. And then we're just going to go over all of the pants that the different members of the riot have. Let's start with the uh, belt loops. While my brush is still nice and sharp. And then I'll just go ahead and do all of them all around. All right, so that kind of thing right there, you just want a nice solid layer of gray for all of the pants. Now, I just decided to, to go over the belt loops, but not the belts themselves. You can do whatever sort of level of detail that you want though. So just do that for both riots. So there you go, now you've just got the basic color scheme down there for the riots, that's pretty much it. So then we'll move on to a dark tone quick shade, just a, just sort of like a, a black shade or a black wash, uh, anything like that, like a, like the Citadel brand Nuln Oil will work just fine here. Um, game color has some decent washes too, just make sure you get to sort of a, a black one, and just, you know, go ahead and water it down just a little bit too, and just apply this evenly across all of the miniatures and that will give us the shading that we want. There you go, so that just gives uh, your nice kind of shade on there. After those are completely dry, go ahead and just take out some pure red and then a detailed brush, and then just go ahead over each of the eyes, and then that'll be pretty much it. There you go. That's pretty much it. Then I'm just gonna follow up with, uh, with just a, a quick layer of um, matte varnish, and that's it. And there you go, everybody. That is it. That's really all that you need to do if all you really want to do is emulate the actual artwork that comes with the tile for the monsters. Super duper simple. You need like three colors and you're done. Now, if you want, you could do a little bit more. You could probably take some ash gray or uniform gray or some other like soft gray color and maybe just dab the buttons on their shirts and then maybe you could like dry brush their hair and their hats with that gray color and that might just give you a little bit more coloration but again if you want to emulate the actual token artwork like the the, the monster token uh, then that's all that you really need to do and yeah you can you can do this in like 30 minutes you're you're done it's it's super duper simple so that's it if you like the video go ahead and throw it a like if you want to see the last of the mansions of madness board game being painted in the form of the star spawns you can subscribe to the channel and i'm not sure what i'm gonna do after i complete this series i'll move on to something else but i don't know just kind of kind of play it by ear but i won't take up any more of your time so thank you so much for watching everybody we'll see you next time